Prior to the 88 draft, Tommy Lasorda tried to stir up some interest in a lightly regarded prospect who was a family friend. I got five of my friends who were connected with baseball teams to go out and see him play. And five of them called me back and said he can't do anything. So that's when I decided we'll draft him. But even then, the Dodgers didn't take Mike Piazza until the 62nd round. I think people were a little suspicious. They thought, Tommy's throwing a bone to a kid. He'll be here for a year. He'll be here for two. And then he'll disappear. All of a sudden, this rookie hits 35 homers, knocks in 112 runs, and bats 318. Oh, my goodness. And that was just the beginning. In 1997, Mike had the greatest season ever by a catcher. Check his bat, yeah. check his forearms. He became one of the most feared hitters in baseball. In my opinion, the best offensive catcher to ever play the game. He was extremely strong in his form and wrist and literally could flick the ball over the wall. Another three run home run! He had a great knack of staying on the ball and knowing what he wanted to do in every at bat. Oh, did he tattoo that baseball? He loved the big stage. It seemed like the bigger the moment, the better his performance. Home run! Mike Piazza and the Mets lead three to two. Statistically, on the offensive side, just was at another level. Goodbye, home run! That was a monumental blast. Piazza has done it time and time again. I recognize as a player, as his opponent, that I was in the presence of someone that would go down as one of the greatest hitting catchers of all time. And although he took a beating, those numbers never wavered. It was a personal pride that I took every year. I wanted to go out and catch. Piazza blocking the plate. It is a very physically demanding position. Yes. When you're a big catcher like that, uh, you're going to get a lot of foul tips and a lot of backswings hitting you in the head. You have to take a beating back there, you know, colliding with runners. Out of the plate. For him to be able to do what he did offensively, it's remarkable. As a catcher who was a big part of the lineup, I had to be healthy for my team. I had to be ready, I had to be in shape to maintain my productivity. With 30 or more home runs, nine different seasons, and 10 straight Silver Slugger awards, Mike's legacy is etched in stone. He'll be remembered as the greatest catcher to swing a bat ever.